Welcome back to our Meet the Arduino series for 7th graders. So, you have a little light on your Arduino that is blinking, and you're wondering, what's next? Well, I'll tell you what's next. How about we make a bigger light blink? Something that's not already on the Arduino. This is called an LED. It stands for light emitting diode and basically what this is is a little electronic light that the Arduino can turn on and off. You might not know it but you've definitely seen LEDs before. The little light that you were blinking in the last project that was an LED. All the little blinking lights on the sides of your computer that's an L those are LEDs um, and now we're going to light this one up. This is also an LED. So, before you start hooking anything into the Arduino though, let me give you a caution. We need to be very careful that we don't hook things in backwards or that we don't short the Arduino. So, just simply follow the, the instructions that I give, do exactly what I do, and there shouldn't be any problems. Alright, you ready? Okay, so let's get started. This is the circuit that we're going to be creating on the Arduino. I'm going to show it to you and explain it first using the snap circuits, and then we'll recreate it on the Arduino. So let me tell you what each of these parts are. This obviously is the power supply, and on our Arduino, all we are going to have to do is connect something to one of these pins and turn it on, and that acts as the power supply it will give us five volts out of each of these pins. Okay, then the electricity starts from positive and flows to negative, so it'll flow around this way and get to this guy. This is a resistor. And its job is to limit the amount of electricity that flows through the circuit, to keep it from going too fast and burning things up. That's its only job. And these, right here, are resistors. This is what we'll be using on our Arduino circuit. Okay, and then this last one right here, this is the LED. It's that little red light right there that you can see, and it will light up red. Notice there is an arrow here, that means that the electricity has to flow this way through the LED. It cannot flow this way through the LED. Um, that is the way all LEDs are. So, these right here are LEDs. And if you notice, these little wires that come off of the LEDs are called leads. One of them is longer than the other one, and that tells us which direction the electricity is supposed to flow through the LEDs. So just pay close attention when I'm hooking it up, and you won't get it wrong. And we'll explain which direction it's supposed to go later. Okay, let's create this circuit. So I'll take this away, and we'll bring back in our Arduino. Okay, now get in your kit and find this thing. This is called a breadboard. And we will explain more about this later, but we're just going to set it here and use it for now. Basically, it is, all it does is help us to connect electrical circuits together. So we will stick different things into it, and it will connect them together. So just watch me very carefully, and I will show you what to do. This, grab one of these, grab your LED, out of your kit and take the short side. The short side is the negative side and the long side is the positive side. Okay, take the long side and stick it into one of the holes on this side and take the short side and stick it into one of the holes on the other side. You have to kind of push it down so that it sits nicely down inside but then you'll have something that looks like this. Okay. Feel free to pause the video if you need to do that. Okay, now we need to grab a resistor. Grab one of these. And we will bend it so that we can put it into our breadboard. 
and you're going to take it and put one of the sides in the same row as the first as the left part of the LED. So I'll put one in and then I'll show you what we did. Okay, do you see that? And it's in the same row of holes. Okay, and I still have the other side disconnected. I'm now going to put it into one of these holes all the way on the side. The one with the, the row of holes with the red stripe running down. Okay, so this is where we should be right now. Okay. Excellent. Now we need to grab some jumper wires. That's these things. Okay, and you should have a bunch of these in your kit. If some of them are connected together, like this, you're welcome to just pull them apart. Okay. Okay, so take one of the jumper wires, doesn't matter what color, they're all the same, and connect it into the same row as the other leg of the LED. Okay, so if you can see, that leg is connected to this row. So I'll just come, any of these four holes will work. Okay, so I'm going to stick it in that one. Okay, and then I'm going to take this and put it onto one of the holes all the way on this other side with the blue stripe running down. And it doesn't matter which one. I could put it into this one, I could put it into that one, I could put it all the way up here if I wanted. Um, so we'll leave it right there. Okay? So that's where we are so far. Great. Now what we have to do is connect this to the Arduino. So what the breadboard has done is it has connected this part of the resistor to this part of the LED and this part of the LED to this little wire. Okay, we now need to connect it to the actual electricity. So we'll stick it down here by the Arduino and grab two more jumper wires. We're going to need two more. Okay, so I've grabbed these two and I'll start, let me grab a different color actually. Okay, so I'm going to take this one and we're going to connect the negative side first, okay? So stick one side into any of these, again, any of the holes on this far side with the blue stripe running past, okay? So I'll stick it into that one. And then here's where it gets slightly tricky. So all of these little holes down here on the Arduino, all of these guys, are where we can we can plug in those jumper wires okay and it it's pretty important that we hook it into the right one so the one we're looking for is the one that says G N D next to it and you can see it's right here okay it's it um, it says G N D it also says it on the side right there can you see G N D Okay, so we're going to take take our wire and stick it into G and D. Okay, so this is where we are so far. Okay, G and D stands for ground. That's the negative part of the circuit. Okay, now we'll take our last jumper wire and we're going to connect it into any one of these um, into any one of these holes on this far side with the red stripe going down. So I'll connect it into this one. Okay. And then we're going to take the other side and we want to put it into the pin that says 13. And it's going to be right next to the pin the the GND the ground pin okay so if you look it's going to be right here and I'm going to stick it in now I'm not actually going to stick it in because I want you to see what happens when when you do so go ahead and stick it in there and see what happens 
So what you should have after you've stuck it in, and again, I did not stick mine in, but after you've connected that last wire into the 13 pin, your LED should start blinking. And it should be pretty bright, so be careful. Um, this is another checkoff, so call me over and let me see that your LED is working. Congratulations, you have just created your first external circuit using an Arduino.